Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us for the last quarterfinal matchup of the Roundtable Tournament. We are in for what is likely to be a highly competitive close matchup this evening between two great competitors, Javier Rodriguez III and George Fry. These two gentlemen have won a lot of high profile matches in their own right, and the winner will go on to face Supon Lioner in the semi-finals of the tournament. For those of you unfamiliar with the Roundtable Tournament, all participants are playing as one of the four neutral candidates in 270 without penalties or bonuses. It's been quite a few candidates have gone through this tournament. As you can see the bracket, these individuals have had to cut through quite a few opponents. We have a message from the commissioner over here on the right. In tonight's matchup, once again, George Fry versus Javier Rodriguez. We'll be starting up in just a moment. This game code is absolutely disturbing. I won't tell you what it is, I'll tell you later, but it is absolutely disturbing. I know it's just a random generator, but Jesus. As you can see, George Fry will be playing as Marco Rubio, and Javier will be playing as Bernie, Independent Bernie. Be interesting to see how these two gentlemen work out their strategies, considering they have no bonuses, they have no penalties, can go in any direction. Okay, everybody's in, and it looks like the game is about to begin. Can we expect to George Fry to start in the Old South? Typically in multiplayers, he likes to go for his national group, so I'm not sure if that would be his route here in a 1v1. Let's go ahead and make our play. As you can see, we have some very unique colors these, this evening. It should be very easy to tell them apart, for sure. If we have any preliminary guesses as to who might win this match, feel free to drop a comment. Siraj says, oh yeah, Javier versus George and Tyler D on the stream. What a dream combo. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're going to have a dogfight for Old South to start things off. Yep, all Old South. And a little bit of Florida. Okay. Let's see. So it looks like George spent uh, about 100,000 more than Javier to start things off here. He did dip into Florida. Perhaps uh, a shift to swing state is in his future. It's gonna be interesting to see if we see a pivot away from Old South or if they're gonna, they're gonna fight over this right off the bat.
Daniel says, I think I lean slightly George. Yeah, I could see that happening. I could definitely see Javier taking it too. I think this is, uh, we're poised for a, what is very possibly going to be a very close match here. Let's go ahead and make our spend. Thank you all for joining us. If you've just jumped into the stream here, this is the round table tournament. All neutral candidates, no bonuses, no penalties. We have quite a match here. George Fry versus J Javier Jason Rodriguez the third. The winner will go on to face Supan in the semifinals. Here we go. Maybe a pivot to swing state here. Looks like Javier might just go straight for his old self. Yep, definitely moving to swing state for Marco. Will that be enough for the old self? It will, he'll get his 50k. I think we're going to probably see perhaps a little bit of defense, but I think Javier is likely to dip his money into the more of these old south states now. Or maybe fight for Virginia and North Carolina. Definitely looks like George is going to get his swing state bonus on the next turn. I don't think, uh, I don't think there's anything Javier can do about that actually. Yeah, I think, I think he has it. Let's go ahead and make our move. George will probably go one up in Florida. Maybe he'll just do the classic uh, Florida, North Carolina, Pennsylvania grab. It's a bit of an overspend, but it would get the job done. Okay. Javier challenging in a bunch of states here. Looks like he's probably gonna make his play for Virginia, perhaps. No more bonuses yet. Let's see what we got. I'm a bit surprised. I'm a bit surprised that George did not get his swing state bonus on that turn. I thought for sure that he was gonna get start rolling in that swing state money ASAP, but not today, I guess. What's up, Jason Casey? Jason's rolling over from uh, his stream of uh, another epic match a few moments ago. Unfortunately, I, I didn't get to catch the tail end of it. I had to get this stream rolling. Uh, if anyone wants to let me know how that one turned up in the comments, feel free. Uh, Daniel says, this is gonna be a dog fight. Definitely. Definitely. I think there's gonna be a lot of uh, quarreling over the AA bonus here. Specifically the ones that are both Old South and Swing State. Definitely keep your eyes on North Carolina, Virginia, Arkansas is always a, a major battleground uh, for the in crowd.
Tyler Barul is here. Hey, Tyler. Glad to have you. Jamie's in the house. He's rooting for Javier. Looks like Laertes stole the ballot in the last match with his damn money saving. The Barola Express uh, unfortunately seems to have come to a halt for now. Another masterful ballot by Alerty Costa, says Siraj. Tyler says, I fucked up and I didn't go all out on Arkansas. Absolutely, man. You always gotta go all in on Ark. I have an idea for a really stupid stream I'm gonna do this week. Stay tuned. It's gonna be terrible. Here we go. Burning pressure in Alabama. It's like Bernie's making a move for the AA bonus, perhaps. No, no, never mind. Excuse me. This is a town and gown grab strictly. Yep, absolutely. Town and gown all day. Look at that, there he goes. Big 100k. Gotta love it. So you gotta expect with that swing state money, George is probably gonna be doing some damage in North Carolina and Virginia. It's a, that's a prime ground for, uh, for Javier to come stomping in right now with that old South money that he has. Colors are super similar, so if anyone needs me to differentiate anything, let me know. I would not be surprised if both these gentlemen went all in in Virginia. The state. Go ahead and spend my funds in good old Texas. Tyler says, interesting town and gown combo there. Yeah, you know, town and gown is a... Uh, town and gown's an interesting one, because it's really New York plus any couple of things, really. Doesn't really matter, does it? You can sort of... I mean, there's certainly some standard ones that I've seen, but I've noticed folks are pulling out some interesting town and gown combos. Daniel says, George needs to block AA from Javier if possible. Yeah, that'll be a big, uh, a big tide turner if, uh, if he's able to grab that, definitely. Let's see. Money, just about the same right now. I think I'd probably, I'd probably have to give it to George because he has that swing state money, which is, I don't know if I want to say it's necessarily more old, useful than old South money. I guess it, it depends. It's, it's going to help in, in whatever happens in these, these two states right here for sure. Daniel says, a lot of folks say export is the lamest bonus, but to me, Town & Gown has always been the most useless one, or the one I rarely focus on. I'll touch on that after. Here we go. Clash in Illinois. Clash in Michigan. Yep. Both fighting for, uh, for AA here, it seems. Yep, looks like... Oh, here we go. As I suspected, a big steal in Virginia. And I'm sure he'll go on to lock that in, too. Any new bonuses? Not yet. Not today. Anyway, back to export and town and gown. Tyler Barola says, its main use is to defend New York and set you up for high tech. Yep, I definitely agree, Tyler. The other thing I would say, and the reason why, I, I mean, I would certainly put town and gown above export, is that, at the very least, at least town and gown is somewhat similar to Old South in that you can get it fairly easily and you can get it fairly quickly. Export is a pain in the ass because not only does it barely give you any money, 
but you also have to, um, you know, you have to lock in half the board to get it. So it's like, it's always an afterthought. It's always, export's always just a snack on top of whatever else you got going on in New York and California, usually, or maybe Texas, but yeah, export's just a snack. Town and Gown is, is like, uh, is like the bread you get before your meal. If your meal is high tech and defending New York. Let's make our move. Okay, what kind of moves are we gonna see? I think we can count on a Virginia lock or contest. I think there's a good chance that Javier might pull a little switcheroo and go into North Carolina here. Here we go. Okay, so George is gonna go into Cali. Bernie grabs Louisiana. Looks like he's moving over to high tech. Going four into Michigan. Oh, and George steals Virginia and locks it in. Virginia is the first state locked in. But Bernie will get the African American bonus and town and gown. I mean, that if he can hold on to these, uh, there's there's no catching up in New York now, in my opinion. So let's let's see what what's George's angle here. What's he trying to get right now? Chad says, Town and Gown and Old South are the easiest, quickest ones to get at the start, hence they're usually gone first. Yeah, definitely. Uh, George Fry apparently believes swing states are objectively the best bonus in the game. That would be on brand for him starting with swing state, so I would believe that. Let's make our spend here. If you're just tuning in now, thank you for joining us for the quarterfinal matchup of the Roundtable Tournament. This is Javier Jason Rodriguez the third versus George Fry. The winner is going to go on to face Supon in the semifinals matchup. Jamie says, maybe Bernie should have hung low or hanged low and play in Virginia last turn. Yeah, it, it, I mean... I don't know if I'm as good as Javier, but I i mean, I personally would have would have locked in Virginia at that point. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Tyler says, George probably looking at a high-tech Latino combo. Okay, Arizona locked in. Got a challenge here. Oh, yep, there it is. North Carolina grab. Pressure in New Hampshire. Looks like maybe George is going for export slash oil money. I feel as though there is no chance, especially after what happened in Virginia, there is no chance that Javier doesn't lock in North Carolina or try to. There's gonna be a clash or a lock. I, I, I don't see how there's any way that couldn't happen at this point. I think you can expect... You can expect George to go in here in California. He gets all these, I do believe that may be enough for oil. Maybe he's gonna steal Louisiana as well. Daniel says, George needs to overtake Maryland to get high tech. Let's take a look. Yeah, he's behind right now, too. But if he gets Cali, and then he could overtake in Michigan, too, because they clashed there. And if he overtakes in Michigan, mm, that wouldn't be enough to take away the African-American bonus. Maybe if he took something else along with it. If he could still somehow peel that AA bonus away. I don't know, though.
Got a lot of contested states right now. These two gentlemen probably know their math, and I, you know, they, they're always... Those mathematicians are always operating on the margins here. Spending as little as possible wherever they can just to get just enough where they need to go. I don't think it's possible we're going to see something in Michigan. I think that would be a big surprise. There's always a chance of an additional surprise when you clashed on the first, the first pip here. The per, you know, your, your opponent may not remember or may not see that you're actually in that state. Tyler says, California, Virginia, Washington, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire. Give some high tech. Let's see. California. Virginia. Washington. Pennsylvania. New Hampshire. All right. You can do it. Yeah. You can get it done. Here we go. Yep, one more into California. Making a play for that oil money. Looks like they're both fighting for high tech. Pressure in Florida. Bernie defending Louisiana. Will that be enough for the oil money for George? I think it will be. Yes, sir, 75K. Ooh, and there's the high-tech bonus. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna force, uh... That's gonna force Javier to do some, uh... Some big spending, I think. As some here have mentioned, Maryland. Maryland is a state to watch out for. Personally, I think Louisiana is a state to keep your eye on. Now that, uh... Now that George has that oil money, I think he'll be pretty eager to, uh to take Louisiana away. Anything to chip away at that AA lead. Still close enough. If he steals, if he steals back North Carolina and Michigan, I, I wonder I, if that would be enough to take the AA bonus away. Yeah, neither made a play on North Carolina. That could have been a big move. I think we're going to see some action in North Carolina now, though. I, you know, I, I suspect that both of these individuals saw that the other did not make a play in North Carolina. That's that's usually what happens, right? If you're if you're the one in Georgia's shoes, right after the fact, there's usually a decent chance, risky but decent chance, that you can immediately return and steal that state, just like he did in Virginia. But on the second turn, the risk is much much higher. Because both individuals usually have seen that nothing happened. And now they both might be thinking, oh, time to make the move. But usually, in my opinion, in my experience, when you're in Georgia's shoes, if you go for that, usually the time has passed. We'll have to see. Maryland is not close, but it could be another sneak attack. North Carolina, Maryland, Michigan, Louisiana, all of these states are at risk of something happening. Even Florida, actually. What kind of money we got here? Well, maybe not quite. I don't know if Bernie has that type of money, but... Well, he does have the AA bonus, so... We could see some Florida action. If 
Here we go. Bernie, going into Colorado. Pressure in Connecticut. I think we're going to see Bernie go into Texas. Oh, clash in North Carolina. Tough for George. Bernie steals New Hampshire. Yep, both into Texas, but Javier goes in too. Moderate defense in Washington. That's the result. No new bonuses, but very close here. Money difference at 115,000 or so. Export bonus is going to be in play soon. Manufacturing. Let's see. Is Bernie going to get it next turn? Bernie could get it next turn if he can hold on to North Carolina. Latino bonus. That's possibly coming up. Let's go ahead and make our play. Chad says, maybe Javier goes into Illinois to support AA in case of steel attempts. Yeah. I could, uh, I could definitely, I could get behind that. Daniel says, no defense of Florida. Ice in his veins. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, uh, I don't have nerves of steel enough to, uh, to not defend Florida. Not unless I'm planning to exit Florida and just give it to him. Yeah, can you imagine? Look at that. Oh, that's an accident waiting to happen, huh? But we've all seen this clash. We've all seen this crash and burn incident. Tyler says, Javier's been saving that AA money. Don't be surprised if it comes here. I, mean, I, believe, he res I believe he's responding to Daniel Smith referring to Florida. Yeah, that could be happening. Could be happening. Definitely George is going to have to keep his eyes peeled. Be ready for that. And I think that would... No, actually. Let's see these damn colors. No, that's, uh, that's George that's close to that bonus. music isn't crazy enough for me. I feel like I'm walking through a beautiful garden. You know how they say you don't miss this is a freaking battle. I'm gonna fire my sound guy. He's an idiot. Moron. We're having a competition here. Here we go. It's moving into Alaska. Defending Colorado. Big move into Illinois for George. Michigan nearly locked in. Oh no! Oh! That's a tough loss. It's not, it's, it's not, I mean, by all means, it doesn't, doesn't, uh, mean the game's over or anything like that but you you gotta be you gotta be a little pissed if you're Javier after losing North Carolina that's gonna give George the AA or excuse me the agriculture bonus as well I do it all Siraj I do it all for the people Oh, look how close we are to the Latino bonus. Look how close we are. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Is there any way he could have got that? 
Eh, not really. Not really. He tried to maybe with Illinois here, but it was just short. True, and as everyone's mentioning this North Carolina grab, it also does keep Bernie from getting manufacturing. That's true. So that that really that really uh, put a damper on his uh, Texas grab here, unfortunately. We'll do our spend. Daniel says, still nothing in Florida. Who is this man? I know. Unreal. Unreal. I could be making this up, but I'm pretty sure I've been in a game one time where the person who won had Florida with only one in it. I know it's happened with with California for sure, but I I feel like it's happened in Florida too. Daniel says George is sleeping on Florida. He got a pip at least two. Yeah, I mean, man, there's been so many opportunities he could have grabbed Florida, but I feel like it's one of those things where. Every time you're saying to yourself, come on, man, just go for it. You know that if you clash, it's, it's you know, you're basically ending the game for yourself. But sometimes you got to take that risk. You got to almost lose the game to win the game sometimes. Got uh, Last few bonuses here, super close. Maybe next turn, maybe not. Independent Bernie. Republican Marco Rubio. Considered exactly the same by the game. Can you believe that, folks? Independent Bernie, Marco Rubio, same political, okay, here we go. Marco locks in Colorado. Oh no! Oh shit! There you have it. He finally went for it, and it was too late. That is painful. And North Carolina's gone. Oof. Oh no. Please, everyone, please press F in the chat for that Florida. For that horrible showdown in Florida. Oh. You love and you hate to see it. Mostly you hate to see it, but... Oof. And if you're Javier, you're thinking, Come on, this guy hasn't made a move here in how many turns? What are the odds it's gonna be this one? Let's get that steal. And then it doesn't happen. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Maybe just try again. <laughs> Let's do our spend. Let's not keep them waiting. So Rubio's got 750k. Let's see what kind of moves he might make on this turn. Can he get manufacturing? I feel like you're gonna he's gonna have to move into Ohio, I think, this turn. He still has that swing state money, I believe. Yep. Ohio will be next. Could you imagine? Could you freaking imagine if George went for this one? This is one of the riskiest plays in the game. But not one of you can tell me. It isn't one of the most satisfying things that can happen. When you steal a state from someone... That is only one hip away from locking it. And when you're that person, you just want to freaking scream. Here we go. Alabama. Javier. With a grab. Arkansas. Oh, we can call it. We can call it. Oh, no! Oh, no! 
No, forget it. Florida's on high alert now, man. Oh, no. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. You kind of can't blame him, though. But it's like, you can, too, because it's a game, but... No. No! He, he ignored it the whole game! Oh! Look at that. At 600k, at 600k, the Javier la lost over the last two turns. Oh no. That's, that's a heartbreaker. I don't think, I don't think anyone's happy about that. Hell, I'm sure even George is thinking, you poor bastard. How many states we got locked in anyway? 17, 27, 32, 41, 51, 52, 57, 67, 69. All right. Stream's over, folks. We can pack it up now. But no, we got more to do. South Dakota making our spend. End that turn. Chad says, Oh, Javier, we hardly knew ye. Tyler says, Javier, no! Siraj, George might just let Javier let Javier have Florida now as pity. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> now here's the question. If you're Javier, do you go for a three-peat? Is Larity really gonna do that three times in a row? Personally, I think he will. But do you try again? I feel like you can't try again. But does your opponent know that you can't try again? But do you know that your opponent knows that you know that you can't try again? Oh dear. Earn quite a pickle. Jamie says, maybe steal Illinois instead. Yeah? That'd be a lot of money though. That'd be a hell of a lot of money. Still fairly close though. Daniel says he needs to go two into Florida this time if he does. Yeah. Yeah, if he's gonna attempt it again and he has the money. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That's tough losing that 600k. That could have been, there's a lot of different places that could have been allotted. Let's not forget about New York either. This is quite a situation. Now you're Javier. Well, hypothetically, you're Javier. And you have 550K. And you got this freaking guy with 900 knocking on New York. How much of that, how much of that money do you spend defending this? Because if you overspend in New York, what are you gonna do? Okay, here we go. Nope, not this time. Okay. Looks like maybe a... Not a ballot grab, but we got some movement. Oh, we got a big clash in Louisiana. Oh. Ooh, and George, as we were talking about this earlier in the game, George steals Maryland, locks it in. It looks like Javier is just going to grab as many electorals as he can. That may be, that may be his only option at this point, to fan out and just go for the electorals. Okay. If someone wants to count these up real quick while I uh, ramble, see if maybe we're, how close to 100 we are. Okay, so. I think we can see fireworks in Louisiana again. All right, New Jersey. We're gonna see something happen in New Jersey. These middle states, you're definitely gonna see Javier lock these up a little bit more. There's gonna be a lot of dipping into states this next turn. Some posturing pre-ballot. If you're Javier, is Florida over? 
I think it might be. I don't know if you can attempt that again. It's kind of dangerous. If you're a Laertie, you're thinking to yourself, wow, I got away with not defending that at least half the game. I gotta pay it some attention now. Only one bonus left. I think that may go to Javier next turn if he, uh, if he goes in Ohio. Let's make our spend in Nebraska. And turn. Chad says 92 EVs. Daniel says 97 with Nevada. Thank you, guys. Okay, so we're getting close. Getting close to a ballot. You know, sorry about this, Raj. You know what? It's because I kept thinking about that matchup from a couple of weeks ago. The Laherty special where he tried to steal Florida. Oof. Bye, B. Good catch, sir. All right. Yeah, I'm still thinking about that pain. I think a lot of us were watching that match. Tough. He wasn't the first person to do it, but it stuck. Okay. Pressure and arc. Pressure everywhere. Pressure all over the map. It's the chiropractor's office. Louisiana, all locked up. Raymond says it's showtime. We could have a ballot. Got a little defense in New York. Pressure in Pennsylvania. Pressure in Tennessee. Do we have a ballot? We do have a ballot, folks. This is the ballot round. We are about to find out who will face Supon in the semifinals of the round table tournament. Will it be Javier with the ballot turned comeback? Will it be George Fry? We're about to find out. Daniel says, does Javier have enough for one more Florida attempt? That would be quite the move. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. He does, but he would have to spend, if he even had the money, he would basically have to spend everything. And I feel like at that point, he needs to do a lot more defending than he does trying to grab Florida because, you know, Florida's 29, but what's all these ones in the middle here? 20, 25, 31, I and mean, just 31 right there. I mean, he's, he's gonna have to defend. He's gonna have to. Too risky to do anything else at this point. I mean, he'll have to make some steals, obviously, but... It's gonna be tough. Let's make our spend. Okay. Got about two minutes remaining. Two gentlemen have played a great back and forth matchup. We started here with a dogfight in the Old South. As you can see, the Old South ended up quite split up. The top of the Old South ended up going to George. The bottom of the Old South overwhelmingly to Javier. That we found out across the map. As it is, only about 20 or so electorals between them, a little bit more than that. A bunch of states open up in the middle. I agree, Tyler, Tyler Brola. This is gonna be, uh, I think, a potentially very interesting ballot round. I think George definitely has the advantage, but technically speaking, this is still anybody's match. I 
I agree, Chad. Too risky to try Florida now. It's over for that. Less than a minute remaining. Thirty seconds left. Looks like both these gentlemen going for a pretty big spread for this last one, thinking pretty hard. Jamie says Javier needs to play on the cheaper with the big EV states like Indiana and Kentucky. Yeah, definitely. Those would be some nice grabs for him. Oh, actually, he'd need to defend those, yeah. Here we go. Keeps Alabama. Alaska flips. No, doesn't flip, excuse me. Con Connecticut flips. Here we go. Delaware, all locked up. Iowa goes to Rubio. Kansas to George slash Rubio. Massachusetts stays with Javier. Maine flips. Tough one. Montana goes to George. Nebraska to George. Pulling away from this one now. Pennsylvania flips. Ooh. Big steal. Does he have enough juice left? I don't know. Tennessee flips. Ooh. That's 31 along with Pennsylvania. Don't think he'll have enough. And we can officially call it the winner of the game is George Fry. 290 to 248. Wow. Wow, what an amazing match between these two competitors. Really close game there in the end, all things considered. Great match for both these two gentlemen. George, congratulations on your victory. You have a big match coming up against Supon in the semifinals. And let's see the final map. I almost didn't click it for a second. I had mass tournament on the brain. Thank you all for joining us for this awesome match. We're going to have the semifinals of the round table tournament coming up shortly. I'm sure that Daniel will be keeping us posted. Also, definitely check out all three of those competitors, George, Javier, and Supan in the upcoming season two of the Real Honda League. Season is going to begin on July 31st. There is an awesome new expansion class of which George Fry is a part of. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, once again, the semi-final tournament against Supon is gonna be coming up. Daniel, thank you so much for having us, for putting on this great tournament. Feel free to drop some last comments down here in the bottom, and we will see you again on the next one.